Welcome to Tom's Hardware. My name is Caroline Dunn, and today I'm presenting my toilet paper level sensor that notifies me when it is empty. The topic of toilet paper has been a hot one during this global pandemic from shortages to hoarding. Many of us have become experts in toilet paper purchasing and toilet paper inventory management. But for those of us who would like a little help from technology, I've made this toilet paper holder that will notify me when it is empty. This toilet paper holder is equipped with a Raspberry Pi Zero W and an ultrasonic sensor that measures the level of toilet paper in your holder and sends you an email if it has been empty for over 30 minutes. You can customize the email like I did to specify which bathroom and suggest plans of action to resolve the issue. Let me show you how it works. The ultrasonic sensor checks toilet paper level every 30 minutes. If two checks go by and the holder is empty, I'll receive an email suggesting that I refill the holder or purchase more toilet paper. If I don't refill the holder within an hour, I'll continue to receive an email every hour until the holder is refilled. Each email will tell me when the toilet paper holder was first empty and how many reminders it has sent. Once I refill the holder, everything resets and I'll stop receiving reminder emails. You can customize how often the toilet paper level is checked and what you want your email to say. I've even set it up to only email me during certain hours of the day. That way I won't wake up in the morning with eight emails telling me to refill the toilet paper holder. The materials you'll need for this project include a Raspberry Pi Zero W with pre-soldered header pins, an ultrasonic sensor, two resistors, a small breadboard, jumper wires, your micro SD card loaded with the Raspberry Pi operating system, and all appropriate cables for power, HDMI, keyboard, and a mouse. I'm attaching my Raspberry Pi setup to this toilet paper holder with some 3D printed enclosures. In part one, we'll start by inserting our micro SD card formatted with the Raspberry Pi operating system into our Raspberry Pi. I'll also 3D print and assemble some enclosures for my setup and attach it to the toilet paper holder. Next, we'll connect the ultrasonic sensor to the Raspberry Pi. I'll start by connecting my ultrasonic sensor to this small breadboard. And from there, we'll start with VCC. That needs to go to our five volt power on our Raspberry Pi Zero W. Ground, I'm gonna make my own little ground rail right here. We're gonna use that later. And then I'll connect that to ground on our Raspberry Pi Zero W. Next, we'll take trig, and we are going to connect to pin number 12 and then Echo needs to connect to a 330 ohm resistor. From that 330 ohm resistor, we're gonna connect to pin number 18. From that pin, we will connect a 470 ohm resistor to our ground wire. And that is how you connect your ultrasonic sensor to your Raspberry Pi Zero W. At the end of the step, you should be ready to power up your Pi. In part two, we'll download the code onto our Raspberry Pi and set up our ultrasonic sensor. We'll use the ultrasonic sensor to measure the distance for an empty toilet paper holder. Note this measurement for part four. The way the ultrasonic sensor works is that it emits a sound. When the sound bounces against the nearest object and returns, the sensor knows how far away the object is. Unfortunately, Toilet paper absorbs the sound. So I've cut out a piece of cardboard to put on top of the toilet paper so the ultrasonic sensor can accurately determine the distance. You can also 3D print a toilet paper topper for a more sophisticated look. In part three, we'll set up an automated email sending from our Raspberry Pi. I've chosen Mailgun for its simplicity in this step, but of course you could modify the code for your preferred email sending solution. I'm using a Mailgun sandbox domain since I'm just sending emails to myself in this project. You'll need to update the code in sendtestemail.py with your API key and sandbox account domain. When you've completed this step successfully, you'll receive an email saying, 
Congratulations, you've completed the send email step. In part four, we'll combine the ultrasonic sensor and the email sending capability to send emails when the holder is empty. We'll update the code in tplevel.py with our mail gun credentials and the distance measurement from part two. You should also set the tplevel.py script to run automatically on boot in this step. And there you have it. That's the intelligent toilet paper holder that lets you know when it needs refilling. I challenge you to change the code and the email to fit your specific needs. Thanks for watching. For Tom's Hardware, I'm Caroline Dunn.